My brothers and sisters, the topic which is given to me is lesson from the advices of Sayyidina Luqman Hakim. Luqman, there are five persons who were not prophets and messengers, and they are mentioned by name in the Holy Quran. Number one is Zulqarnain, then Luqman, then Talut in Surah Al-Baqarah, then one of the companion who, whose name is mentioned in the Quran, and that is Sayyidina Zayd radiallahu ta'ala anhu. فَلَمَّا قَضَى زَيْدٌ مِّنْهَا وَطَرًا زَوَّجْنَاكَهَا And the last one is a female. She was not a prophet and messenger, but the mother of the prophet, Sayyida Maryam alayhi salam. So today, our topic is Luqman. Luqman has given some instruction and some advice to his son. And there are actually 10 commandments, 10 advice and 10 admonishing. If you go and open Surah Luqman from ayah number 12 to 19, you will find all these 10 commandments, 10 advice. Number one is, Ya Bunaya, la tushrik billah. Ya Bunaya, innaha intakum iskala habbatim min khardalin, fatakun fi sakhratin au fi samawati au fi ard, yati bi Allah. Number three, Ya Bunaya, aqim is salah. Wa mur bil ma'roof. Wanha anil munkar. Wasbir alama asabak. Wala tu sa'ir khaddak. وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحَةً وَقْسِدْ فِي مَشِّكْ وَغْضُدْ مِنْ صَوْتِكْ These are ten commandments or ten advice or ten admonition of Sayyidina Luqman Hakim and inshallah within 20 minutes we will try to summarize and to give you a small description of those advice. The first two advice of Luqman to his son is about aqeedah, about belief system. And the second, the third, and the fourth, the third one is to correct your deeds. The fourth and five is the betterment for the people. And the last five advice is social manners. So the first one and the second one is about aqeedah. And Luqman, he says to his son, Ya Bunaya, la tushrik billah. Oh my dear son, do not make partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not associate things or people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because shirk or associating things or partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the greatest sin. Inna shirka la zulmun azim. In the same surah Allah says that make, make, making partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a great, great zulm. La zulmun azim. And the definition of the zulm in Arabic language is wad'u shay'i fi ghayri mahallihi. Putting things not in their proper place is called zulm. So to decrease the level of God to human being or to increase the level of human being to God, it is called shirk, it is called zulm. So Luqman Hakim, he tells his son, oh my dear son, do not associate anything or anyone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is alone because Allah does not forgive this sin, shirk. Because whoever commits shirk, whoever dies in a state of shirk, committing partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when they die, they will go to the hellfire. فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden Jannah for that person and they will not have any kind of supporter, any helper. So the first advice of his son, the first advice of Luqman to his son is about aqeedah, about shirk and tawheed, that there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, he says to his son, 
يا بني إنها إن تك مثقال حبة من خردل فتكن في صخرة أو في السماوات أو في الأرض يأتي بها الله Oh my dear son Whatever you do Either good or bad Big or small Each and every single thing Will be presented to you On the day of judgment يأتي بها الله Allah will bring them You know this advice We should share with our children with our son, with our daughter, to tell them that I cannot supervise you 24 by 7. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you. When you are in your classroom, when you are in your bedroom, when you are in front of the screen, in front of your computer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you. My brothers and sisters, when a person believes that Allah is watching me, that is taqwa. That is remembrance. As we drive, when we drive on highway and we see the police officer, how do we drive at that time? We are fully conscious. We are not speeding. We are not over speeding. We are not texting. We are not using our cell phone at that time. Why? Because we believe that he is watching. He might be busy in his, with his computer, but it is our belief. Whenever a person thinks like that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching me, and he has appointed soldier, a better police officer on our shoulder, and they are kiraman katibin, ya'lamuna ma tafadun. They are very noble. They write each and every single thing, what you do in this dunya. That was Luqman is telling his son, oh my dear son, Whatever you do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring it and present it in front of you on the day of judgment. And the book of deed will be given to you. And it will be said to you, Iqra' kitabak, read your book of deeds. My brothers and sisters, dead books, when it is open, people will see their book. And they will say, Ya waylatana, ma al kitab. لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحصاها ووجدوا ما عملوا حاضرة. Which kind of book is this? It did not leave any single thing. Each and every single thing is documented here, and it will be presented to tell your children that I cannot supervise you 24 by 7. But Allah is watching you to penetrate this in their mind, in their heart. That Allah is watching. Allah is Samir. Allah is Basir. He is listening. He is watching you. So this was number two. Number three, he tells his son, Ya Bunaya, Aqim is Salah. Oh, my dear son, establish Salah. My brothers and sisters, establishing Salah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alihi wa Sallam says, Muru Sabiya, Ida Balaga, Sabah Sinina. Start ordering your children when they reach to the age of seven. Subhanallah. My brothers and sisters, among us, how many people are here sitting who did not wake up for Salatul Fajr? Who do not pray? It is not like a zakah and hajj that the rich people can do and the poor. Either you are sick or not sick. Either you are traveling or not traveling. You have to pray. Yes, there are some concession is given that you can decrease the number of raka'at, zuhur and asr and isha, but in, when you are traveled, you can sit on your chair if you are sick. If you are not able to make wudu, Allah has given another concession that you can make tayammum, a dry ablution, mentioned two times in the Quran, but you cannot skip salah, my brothers and sisters. That is the distinguished part that when you declare that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah, then this is the second duty. And he tell his son, Oh, my dear son, Ya Bunaya, Aqim is Salah. This was number three. Number four, he says to his son, Wa'mur bil ma'roof, enjoying what is good, enjoying what is good. You know the word ma'roof? We translate this word that good, always good, right things. But the word is derived from Arafah. 
Ma'roof means well known, universally accepted, generally recognized. That is the word Ma'roof means. But we translate the word enjoying what is right. Enjoying what is right and good. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses this word in Surah Yusuf in its literal sense as well. Remember the story of Yusuf alayhi salam when his brothers arrived to Egypt. So Allah uses the word ma'roof, araf, and munkirun there. That he recognized his brother. He knew them while they do not know their the brother. They, 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 this is Yusuf is their brother. My brothers and sisters, inviting people to do good, it's much, much easier than to prevent someone, to stop someone from bad things. So Sayyidina Luqman Hakim, he tells his son, what more bil ma'roof, enjoying what is good. You know, each and every person of the society, they know what is good and what is wrong. A person who does not practice Islam, or he may not be Muslim, or she may not be Christian or Jewish or Hindu or any other religion, or atheist, he says, I should not kill people, I should not deceive people, I should not uh, cheat people, I should always speak the truth, I should fulfill my promises. Who tells him? He does not believe in God, he doesn't read the Bible, he doesn't read Quran, who tells him to do this, to do the good things? Because Allah says in the Quran, It is inspired to human being that what is right and what is good and what is bad. So this was the fourth advice which he has given to his son. Number five, he says to his son, munkar," And forbid what is wrong and evil. This duty, my brothers and sisters, is very important. This was the duty of the prophets and messengers. This as a duty, it's collective and, and as, as individual. munkar, he says to his son. As I mentioned it earlier, my brothers and sisters, and Luqman knew what happens after this responsibility. Whoever calling people to do to Allah and whoever prevents people from the bad things. You know, as I say, inviting people to good is much easier than to prevent them from. If someone took 5,000 from a brother's and he does not return his loan and you interrupt there that this is his right you need to do, he may reply to you that who are you? Why you are interrupting? This is my personal issue. Who are you? Why you are involving yourself in my case? That is the time, my brother, to have patience. And that's why Luqman, he says to his son, Wasbir ala ma asabak. Be patient over what befalls you. Be patient. Passion is very important, my brothers and sisters. Passion is very, very important when you come in the field of da'wah, when you do amr bil ma'roof and nahi anil munkar, when you enjoin what is right and forbid what is good and what, what, forbid what is bad. And that is the time to have patience. And remember, the best example is the example of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Before his prophethood, he spent 40 years with his people, and Allah said that remind that time period. فَقَدْ لَبِثْتُ فِيكُمْ عُمُرًا أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ I have spent my life with you people. And people used to call him. He is a trustworthy. He is sadiq and ameen. He is a nice person. He takes care of the needy people. He fulfills his promise. He respects his guest. He is sadiq. He is a trustworthy. He is honest. But when he started out, this job, Amr bil Ma'roof and Nahi Anil Munkar, you know those beautiful titles, Sadiq and Amin, Quran has tell us. Quran is telling us that those, those good terms change into bad terminology. People started calling 
Majnoon. Ya ayyuhal ladhi nuzzil alayhi al-dhikru, innaka la majnoon. People call him, he is sha'ir, he is sahir, he is kahin, he is a magician, he is a sorcerer, he is a sha'ir, he is a poet. My brothers and sisters, how did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do his tarbiyah? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling him, Wasbir ala ma yaqulun. Be patient over what they are saying to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not say, Wasbir ala ma qalu, but he says, Wasbir ala ma yaqulun. It's a continuous and a present tense. And be patient what the people are saying. It, there is a message for us as well. So this was number six. Number first was not to commit any shirk. Number two, to be conscious of Allah. Number three, pray on time. Number four, enjoin what is good. Number five, and forbid what is wrong. Number six is be patient over what befall you. My brothers and sisters, having patience, this is one of those best qualities the Prophet Sallallahu says, Arba'un man u'tiya hunna faqad u'tiya khayrat dunya. There are four things whoever is given, they are given a lot of good of this dunya. One of them, to have patience. Patience is very important. Number seven, he tells his son, the social manners, etiquettes, behavior, characters, and he says to his son, وَلَا تُسَعِرْ خَدَّكَ Do not turn your face when you talk to people, when you speak to people. Do not turn your face. It means don't be arrogant. When you talk to people, be good, nice, decent, polite. وَلَا تُسَعِرْ خَدَّكَ And the word sa'ar is also, the Arab they use, this is a disease in the neck of the camel. When the camel has this disease, it cannot turn its face to the right or left. So when he, Sayyidina Luqman, he says to his son, when you talk to people or when you speak to people, do not turn your face from them. Means don't be arrogant. Then he tells number eight, وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحًا And do not walk through the earth in arrogance. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could say, Wala tamshi maraha. But he always used the word ard, the earth. Wala tamshi fil ardi maraha. Because there are lessons for us, my brothers and sisters. Look at to the earth. It is, it is made as a, as a servant for you. You dig this earth, you put a plant in it, you seed. You put the seed, you construct. That is very obedient to you, very humble to you. So let's le learn a lesson from the earth. So do not walk on this earth with arrogance, with pride, with haughtiness. But be, walk on this earth with honor and dignity, but without arrogance, my brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentioned the good characteristic of Ibadur Rahman, the righteous people, a good people mentioned in Surah Al-Furqan. Their first quality and first characteristic, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعِبَادُ Rahman, الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ حَوْنَا Ibadur Rahman, the servant of Allah, the most merciful, when they walk on this earth, they walk with dignity and honor but without arrogance. My brothers and sisters, these social manners, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned them for us in the Quran and means don't be arrogant because do not look down upon your brothers. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, بِحَسْبِمْ رِئِمْ مِنَ الشَّرِّ muslim It is enough for a person to be evil, to be bad, that he looks down upon his Muslim brother. And also the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه مثقال ذرة من كبر. If you have a small part or small portion of arrogance in your heart, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, he or she will not enter the Jannah. 
because of the arrogance. In Luqman, he knew those things. And that's why he admonished his son. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he revealed them for us to act upon them, to correct our family system, to establish our family system according to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So advice number, waqsid fi mashyik. Waqsid fi mashyik. Allah says, wala tamshi fil ardi maraha. He says to his son, Luqman says to his son, do not walk on this earth with arrogance. And he says, the next advice of Luqman to his son, he says, be moderate in your walking. Means be gentle. Be moderate. Don't become arrogant. My brothers and sisters, arrogance, you know, people of Nuh alayhi salam, he said that وَاتَّبَعَكَ arzalun. There are people who follow you, who obey you, who are your followers. They are very lower level people. They have no honor, no dignity, no respect in the society because they were financially poor. Similar case with the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam when he was sitting with Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Khabbab and Suhaib radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. When he was sitting with them and the leader and the chief of the Quraysh, and they came, you remove these people from your company, then we will join your company. We will sit with you and talk with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, do not do that. Wala tatrud al ladhina yad'una rabbahum bil ghadati wal ashiyyi. Yuriduna wajha. Do not repel these people from yours, from you. And these are the people, the Prophet Sallallahu he taught us that when someone come to you, say salam, they should say salam to you. But Allah says about those people, when they come to you, O Muhammad Sallallahu you say salam to them. وَإِذَا جَاءَكَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِآيَاتِنَا فَقُلْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ when they come to you, say salam to them, my brothers and sisters, because arrogance is very bad. It is one of the things which prevent people from Jannah. And the last advice which he gives to his son, and he says, وَغْضُدْ مِنْ صَوْتِكَ Lower your voice when you talk to people. Do not raise your voice for unnecessarily. My brothers and sisters, these advice from ayah number 12 to 19, open Surah Luqman, and share these advice with your children, with your family members. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has preserved them for us. And subhanallah, when you open the Quran, and when you go to these ayat, after the first advice of Luqman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala interrupt it, because it doesn't look nice. That Luqman says to his son, that I help you, I advise you, I admonish you, I give this beautiful instruction to you, so you need to be thankful to me. He didn't say, Allah interrupted. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the same ayat, Allah says, وَوَصَّيْنَ الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ And the ayah ends, وَشْكُرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْكِ be thankful and grateful to me and as well as to your parents. Anishkur li wali walidayk. Be thankful to me and to your parents. So my brothers and sisters, these were the 10 commandments of Luqman. These are the 10 advice of Luqman to his son. And I just to repeat, to memorize them and to practice them in your life and share these things with your family members, and especially with your children. Number one is, Ya Bunayya la tushrik billah. Do not commit shirk. Do not make partner with Allah. Number two, be conscious of Allah by saying, Ya Bunayya innaha intakum isqala habbatim min khardalin fatakun fi sakhratin aw fi samawat aw fi al-ardi yati bihi Allah. Number three is, Ya Bunayya Aqimi Salah, establish Salah. Wa'mur bil ma'roof, number four. Wanha anil munkar, wasbir ala ma asabak, 
ولا تسعر خدك ولا تمشي في الأرض مرحا واقصد في مشيك واغضت من صوتك Let us learn a lesson from these advices of Luqman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to get lesson and to act upon this beautiful advice of Luqman which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed for us in the, qulu, in the Quran. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al-muslimin. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.